The Grade Setup Wizard takes you through a list of setup options that you should set before you create grade items and categories. To begin, access the Grades heading on your navbar. The first time you enter the Grades area, it will default to the Setup Wizard. Once you have completed the wizard, you can still return to it by selecting the Setup Wizard tab. Click Start to begin the Setup Wizard. Step 1. Choose Grading System. The grading system determines how the grade items in your gradebook contribute to users' final grades. Here, you must choose what type of grading system you would like to use. Weighted is where grade items and categories are calculated as a percentage of a final grade worth 100%. The max points assigned to individual grade items can be any value, but their contribution towards the final grade is always their assigned percentage value. Points is where grade items are calculated using a point system in which the points assigned to each grade item are totaled for the final grade. Formula is where grade items are calculated using the point system, but a formula is used to set conditions around how grade items contribute to the final grade. It is important to keep your gradebook simple so students can see how they're doing in the class. Most instructors choose a points grading system for their scheme. For this example, we will use points. Step 2. Final Grade Released The type of final grade to release determines whether an adjusted final grade is released to users. The most common choice is a calculated final grade option. This gives you the final grade calculated by the gradebook. However, choosing adjusted final grade gives you the opportunity to modify or adjust a final grade. Step 3. Grade Calculations the Grade Calculation step provides additional choices for calculating users' grades. Specifically, it lets you decide how you want to calculate ungraded items and whether you want to keep users' final grades up to date automatically. By choosing Drop Ungraded Items, grade items that you have not entered grades for are not counted towards users' final grades. They are ignored in the final grade calculation. Select this option if you plan to make users' grades available to them before the end of the course. By choosing to treat ungraded items as zero, grade items that you have not entered grades for count as zero towards a user's final grades. Select this option if you leave grade items blank because no work was submitted and you don't want to manually change the grades to zero. Note, if you add new items to the gradebook later, users receive a zero until you update their score. If you choose to select the Auto Update box, Final grades are automatically adjusted after changing a grade item or a calculation option. If you do not select this option, you must tell the gradebook when to recalculate final grades. As a tip, turn this option off to reduce page reload times for large classes. Choose Default Grade Scheme. Grade schemes define how grades are organized or labeled within a course or for a particular grade item. Grade schemes are covered in a separate tutorial. Step 5. Managing View Display Options Here you can set the number of decimal places you want to see for items in your gradebook. The default value is 2 and the maximum value is 5. Note, this option only changes how many decimals are displayed. It does not control how many decimals the grades tool rounds to when calculating grades. The calculation logic is set by your organization's site administration. Step 6. Student View Display Options. This step controls how grades appear to users. You can set whether they see their grades as straight values, percentages, or scheme levels, and whether they can see the calculation method behind their final grade. The Points Grade option releases the points grade to a user and shows them the value a grade item was marked out of and their score, for example, 6 out of 10. Grade Scheme Symbol option shows them the scheme level they received on a grade item, for example, the word good. The Grade Scheme color shows a user the color associated with the scheme level they received, for example, red or green. Displaying the final grade calculation to users allows them to view how their final grade was calculated. They can see which grade items contributed to their final grade and how much, which grade items were bonus grades, and whether their grade was adjusted. Note, 
This option is only available in the weighted and points grading system. Step 7. Grade Setup Summary The final step summarizes the choices you made while setting up your gradebook. If you change your mind on any of the choices, click Go Back to return to the setup and adjust it. The Grade Setup Wizard is a great way to help you make decisions about how grades should be calculated and displayed in the gradebook.